Oh, I don't look that good with a shave. It makes me look a little bit older. Gee, I'm gonna dye my hair too. But I'm uh, I'm taking off in literally one week's time. And before you take off, uh, it's always good to pipeline a few numbers, right? That's pretty much standard. That's pretty much what everybody does these days, isn't it? They, they pipeline a few numbers, but uh, there's a better strategy to make sure that you get... Uh, just keep it simple, but you can make... You get a lot more contacts in a, in a far better way. Uh, to start with, you're going to have to get yourself a new phone because... Um, Using online dating, they, they all have these, I don't know, it's like they've got an algorithm where if you're using the, the app for a while, it gauges how popular you are. And if you are, I guess, it, unless you're like a supermodel or something like that, uh, it gauges how many people are following you and liking your, your profile. And there's a very good chance if you're watching this, uh, you might not have the best, um, the best profile, uh, or you wouldn't be really talking to me. So, long story short, that's a convoluted way of me explaining it. Um, one strategy to do is you, you need a new profile, especially if you're using something like Tinder. Uh, and the usual strategy is what you, you get Tinder Platinum or Gold or, or uh, Tinder Bitcoin. That's going to replace Gold soon, isn't it? So uh, <clears throat> you need to buy a subscription and transfer your passport yourself over to whatever country you're going to. Pipeline some numbers before you arrive, right? To do that properly, uh, the, the simplest way is to get yourself a second phone. It's just the easiest way. And you just uh, factory reset the phone. And uh, what I've done tonight is I got myself one of these. See, it's a Google Play uh, $50 voucher. <clears throat> And what you do is you, uh, when you get into your phone, you've factory reset it, you need to start a new Gmail account, uh, which you need to do with every Android phone these days. Uh, just make up some email. <coughs> and um, then you uh, obviously need a pass, uh, password for the email. And... Um, Make sure that you, uh, as soon as you've done that, you start up your uh, a new Tinder account. And that Tinder account should be fresh. And then what you do is you connect this, because you can pay with your Google Pay, right? You can uh, put it in there and you can uh, pay with that and then what you'll do is you get an email from tinder uh, with a with a code saying that okay look you've paid i don't know it's, i think it's like 43 dollars at the moment <clears throat> and um with your new phone you've you've uh, you've got a new tinder you've paid for it with this and you've uh, received an email uh, a receipt and and what you do is you use it uh, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to boost it I'm going to get myself a, a ton of contacts over the next week I'm not going to spend that much time uh, supercharging it I'm not going to spend like a month getting pipeline a lot of numbers I don't think I need that many uh, and once I arrive, uh, maybe a week later, then I will send Tinder, because that's what I'm going to use to start with. 
uh, I'm just going to send them an email and say, look, can I have a refund? And they'll refund this. And then that means that this account has been boosted. It's a brand new account. And uh, I should get a ton of contacts because it's a brand new account. Another, another thing I'm going to do as well is uh, I'm going to use photos of a model. Uh, so I'm going to catfish, effectively, uh, which will supercharge <laughs> how many uh, likes I get. Uh, and over the next week, I'll be able to pick whichever ones I want. <clears throat> then the only thing I'll be asking for is their phone numbers. I don't want Instagram or anything like that. Um, if you're watching these type of videos and you're getting dating advice, there's a very good chance that you don't really have a good Instagram either. Um, <clears throat> if you were to have a good Instagram, and sorry, I'm just putting that in my pocket, and be super duper popular and handsome and good looking and having lots of people around, well, you wouldn't need dating advice, would you? Uh, so I recommend you just get their mobile numbers. And if they push for Instagram, it means that they're worried that you're catfishing, which you are anyway. Uh, and then you churn and burn, delete, uh, and just gather as many phone numbers as you can. On average, when you arrive, you should have 30. 30 numbers is good. And what you do is, uh, a few days before you arrive, you start messaging and try to line up five, six, seven, and uh, have a good conversation with them because as soon as you arrive in the country, you want to meet, meet girls when you arrive. And it's not what you might think. Uh, the reason why you want to meet girls uh, straight away isn't actually so you could get laid as soon as you arrive in the country it's because when you arrive you're going to want to know uh, where's a good place to stay you're going to want to know uh, where to get a, a sim card uh, where's the best nightclubs which universities have the hottest girls <laughs> uh, there's a lot of information unless you're you already know the area if you already know the area fair enough <clears throat> and you probably don't need to uh, gather that much information but uh, myself I don't know anything about this country that I'm going to I don't know anything about it uh, all I've done is I've lined up a hotel right next to a train station so logistically it's easier for whatever girls I meet to meet me at the train station that train station is right next to one of the biggest shopping centers in that city. So, big shopping center, perfect for day game. Uh, another thing is that it is one station away from the wealthiest area in that third world country, that city, that main city. Uh, which means that some of the hottest girls um, arguably, you, you could you could argue that if it's the wealthiest area, uh, the wealthiest uh, areas usually have the hottest girls. Uh, rich guys normally have hot daughters. That's normally how it works. Normally, anyway. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so. The areas kind of set up quite nicely, and uh, next to uh, you know, logistically, from what I can see from the map. <clears throat> also, I've only booked three nights, but I'm going to be staying for an entire month, and um, that gives me the opportunity to pick a better spot because I don't know. I, I don't know the area at all. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, and it's good to be mobile so I've got three days to navigate the city and find the best location and spot that I'd want to stay in 
and uh, that's where pipelining these numbers comes in. Uh, that, <clears throat> that's where getting the uh, uh, supercharging your Tinder so that you've got all these girls, they're kind of tour guides, to be honest. Um, the, the first ones are tour guides. There's spilt coffee everywhere. Um, and they'll, they'll teach you about the city. Another, another, another reason why this is important is <clears throat> uh, you get the, the refund uh, by using your email address and the, the code, the receipt. You email Tinder and then you get it uh, reimbursed mm -hmm. into this account. <clears throat> that means that when you reset your phone, just say you were to arrive there and you were to decide to continue using uh, Tinder when you arrive in that country, which I don't recommend, <clears throat> uh, you can reset it, get it going again, uh, you start a new email address, start a new Tinder, uh, you keep it simple, right? Um, and then what you do is you log out of that email, uh, that you, the new email, and then log back into the old email, this one here, and transfer the funds over. But what you do is with this card, you get the card, and then you write the email address and the password for the email address on the card, and then you just keep the card with you forever. Um, well, that's what I'm going to be doing anyway. <clears throat> that's the strategy I'm using. Uh, uh, and. I've heard of guys doing this and reusing the same card over and over and over again, just getting uh, uh, continuous refunds through Tinder. Uh, but I don't really count those. I don't really count those uh, girls from Tinder, to be honest. I only really count the ones that are from Cold Approach, and I totally understand. There's a lot of guys that. Uh, prefer to meet girls off Tinder, but um, I don't think I've ever really dated or taken seriously a girl that I've met off Tinder. Every girl that I've dated, it's been through Cold Approach. I know, I just, it, it, well, I do know, it, it, it is, it just feels like I've earned it, <laughs> if that makes any sense. It just feels like I've earned it. If I meet a girl on Tinder, I just, I don't feel like I earned it. Uh, I don't feel like a, I don't feel like a man. I don't feel like it uh, is something that is pretty cool. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I just don't feel like a man. I don't feel like I've earned it. That's really the best way to describe it. Um, <clears throat> if I meet a girl on Tinder, it just doesn't feel right. So the goal is to have I don't know thirty. Who knows? I might even have fifty over the next week. We'll see how successful my um, my catfishing Chad is on um, Tinder uh, but the goal is to have pipeline a ton of numbers and make sure that when I arrive I I have six girls lined up each day for the first say three days that's a, a large amount of numbers I get it I'm also going to be going with uh, a former student of mine who's done an immersion with me he's using the same strategy um, he told me about this strategy and he uh, he actually had last night he had 400 contacts on his tinder would you believe it <laughs> and so the here's another thing that I've never heard anyone talk about I call it contact uh, um, compound pussy which is um, what Warren Buffett uses for um, compound interest. Uh, if you were to meet a girl, and you've got a <clears throat> you've got a wing that you're sharing an apartment with, your wing, his girl, he asks his girl to bring a friend, or he uh, and I, the girl that I'm with, I ask her to bring a friend. So I, I go, hey, look, I'm I'm with my friend here. You know, do you have any single friends? Can you bring her along? She's like, oh, I don't know. Sometimes they they might be compliant enough to pull out their their Instagram or whatever and say, oh, this is all the photos of my friends 
that are single. Can you pick one? I'm like, oh, that one's cute, that one's cute. <laughs> bring, bring all these girls along. Uh, that is something that I think uh, we'll do as well when, when we arrive. Uh, but as soon as we arrive, we found my, ourselves the, a nice apartment in a great location. We understand where uh, the malls are, where the nightclubs are, where the universities are, where the, uh, where the festivals or night markets are. And we've looked, we've pinpointed all of them and we were oh, right in the middle, right in the middle. Also a good spot where you can say to a girl, you can say, hey, look, I'm staying at this landmark. And they go, oh, I know that landmark. It's like, good, meet me there uh, because it's right next to my hotel <laughs> or where I'm staying, my Airbnb or whatever. Um, once we've sorted that out, then it'll just be uh, relaxation of just doing game every day. I need a holiday. It's been, lockdown's been terrible here. You can kind of see the city's kind of dead. Yeah, even now, there's a few drunk people that we walked by before, but it's pretty quiet here. Um, and uh, uh, the Australian government's destroyed this place uh, with their lockdowns and their socialist policies. Um, but yeah. Um, I need a break, I need a holiday, and so that's the goal. The goal is to get away and kind of just go nuts for an entire month and game. I will try do these type of videos, I'll be, I think I'll be careful with filming while I'm over there, but I think that's a, an important lesson for you guys. You need a burner phone um, to make sure that you have a fresh tinder that gets a good ranking uh, because as soon as you join up with tinder the first time my understanding is uh, your score is fresh it's untouched it's untainted no girls have swiped left on you reported you or complained about you and uh, damaged your reputation and that means that you've got the greatest amount of reach uh, and Tinder is putting you in front of as many girls as possible with a fresh Tinder because they want to convince you, give you those early wins to convince you to pay more money and then over time they squeeze you. It's crooked when you think about it, how they do it. And the only way around that is resetting your phone, factory resetting the second phone, so not, not the phone that I'm using right now to record, you factory reset a second phone create a new Gmail account, uh, go into your Google Play, get yourself one of these, and uh, load it up with $50, and then create yourself a new Tinder account that is fresh, pay for the upgrade to whatever it is, platinum, gold, Bitcoin level, whatever they're going to bring up next because obviously gold is not and platinum is not that cool anymore uh, it might be Bitcoin level which is the top level soon uh, uh, and then you um, change the location to wherever you're going boost it supercharge it push whatever fancy buttons there are and get as many contacts as possible um, like my ex-student who is now going to wing me over there um, he had 400 contacts within 24 hours so um, I suspect my Chad uh, catfish will do just as well and um, within the next week I'll have quite a few contacts myself um, and then ask for the uh, send them an email and then ask for a refund get the money back and then probably recycle it next time I go anywhere. Or, um, yeah, reset the phone. Make sure that you have your card as well and you put the email and the password on the card and you carry, the, carry it around forever. Uh, and recycle it over and over again with your, new, your Google Play. Uh, just create a new email address, new Tinder account, and repay, recycle, 
refund over and over again. Um, and fuck Tinder. Who cares what they think? <laughs> they're uh, they've been ripping off, ripping us off forever, and they're they're bad for society. Tinder's bad for society. It's bad for the Western world. Um, so I don't feel guilty about it. Um, and yeah, I think that covers everything that is going to be happening over the next week. I might film it when I arrive. I got to dye this. This was a bad experiment. I'm going to dye this black. And um, I think I've waffled on for too long. So I'll see you guys in the next video. If anyone is keen on uh, doing a travel immersion in the near future, hit me up. Uh, you can come along. Come along for the next travel immersion. Um, it, you know, come and just do this. It is like a, it is pretty much like a holiday. Um, but you'll get a lot more out of it than just a weekend boot camp. Um, and it'll be a lot cheaper. So come along with me. Uh, this, the reason why I'm giving all this information out to you guys and recording my story is because I'm running a business here so uh, if you are interested in coming on a romp uh, doing some coaching doing some cold approach um, hit me up do the next one with me I'll see you guys in the next video